Okay, folks, this is the rod support. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do holes, arcs, and chamfers, as well as how to do center lines on the um, IDW file. So I'm going to go home, I'm going to draw on my XY plane, and I'm going to draw the front view of this thing, which looks kind of like an H. Ignore the little cuts on the ends. Drawing the general shape here. And remember, if you ever have lines that don't connect, use extend. Okay. All right, so there we go. I'm going to move them to the middle. And we're going to dimension. Oops, looks like I missed a line here. There we go. And so. The entire length of this thing is four and a half. The entire height is two and a half. Once again, the entire height is two and a half. And you're going to have to get both sides because it may not put both sides on automatically, depending on how you sketched it. The height of this little foot here is a half an inch. This is half an inch. This is one and nine sixteenths, which you can just put in as one nine slash six. Same thing here. Okay. The height from here, this should be eleven sixteenths. And from here to here should be a half. And notice how it kind of jumped. We'll fix that in a second. This distance here is 1. This is 0.75. 1. And 0.75. Now, if yours is lopsided like mine is, and you want your two inches, uh, two and a half inches to be the same, there's a way you can fix that. Uh, just draw a line underneath it. Okay, and change the dimension from this line to that line and make it zero. And now it evens itself out. You'll have to delete that line. Hit escape, click on the line, press delete. And there is the outline of the rod support. So I'm going to finish the sketch, and I'm going to extrude it the full width, which is one and a quarter. Okay. The next step is to do the holes. Use the hole command. Don't just draw a circle and extrude it. I'm going to click on the face where I want the hole. Make sure under placement it says linear. If not, you get options. Pick linear. All right, I'm going to change the diameter of that hole to 7 sixteenths. I'm going to click my reference one line and I'm going to tell it where I want the center of that hole to be. And this one is half an inch from the back. One of the problems with the hole command is people like to press enter. Don't press enter until you're totally done. Now I got to give it another reference point. From here it is one half as well. Press enter. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, it still has the same diameter, so I'm not going to mess with that. This one is also half an inch. This one is half an inch, reference to. I'm going to change that one over there. There we go. Half an inch, half an inch. Apply. There are the holes. Now we need a hole here. And this one is half an inch diameter. And it is five eighths from the side. OK. 
Okay, and it is 1 and 13 sixteenths from this line. All right. So now the next step is going to be the arc. I'm going to put a sketch here. I'm going to draw a circle. Do not let the circle touch this line. Let it keep going because it'll put the tangent in the wrong spot. Dimension this circle. It gives you a radius on the drawing, which means you have to double that. So 1.375 times 2. Let Inventor do the math for you. Click the line. Click the center of the circle to give it correct placement, and that's um, 5 eighths. And now I'm going to use my tangent command. I'm going to put a geometric constraint to force this circle to be tangent to this line. So I'm going to click tangent, I'm going to click the circle, and I'm going to click the line. Now to make sure that I only get the part of this that I want when I extrude, I'm going to use trim, and I'm going to trim away this big part of the circle. Finish the sketch, extrude with a cut. Change disk extents to all, and then click profile. Click this guy, and we want it going. We want it cutting. Tell it OK. There is just about all of the rod support for you, except the chamfers. Chamfers are 45 degree cuts. So I'm going to click on chamfer. I'm going to type in the distance of the chamfer, which is 3 eighths. And then I'm going to click this line, and I'm going to click this line. And the computer does all the math for me. OK. There is my rod support. I'm going to throw a color on it. And I'm going to save it. Okay. And now I'm going to go File New. Project Lead the Way A. Create. And give it a second. You're going to fill in all of that. Tell it OK. We're going to click Base. Base view should be your front view. Top, right side, ISO, right click Create. If your ISO doesn't fit and it's very good chance that it's going to look crowded, change the scale to 0.75. Make sure you put a color on the ISO so he can sit up here in the corner. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to do are center lines. Center lines are under annotate. You need this one on the ones that look like circles. You just click on the circle and it makes the center line for you. Isn't that nice? Now where I have holes, because this is a circle here, but it's a hole in the other two views, I need to use a center line bisector, which is this guy. And you pick him, and then you pick the two lines you want it to bisect, and it creates the center lines for you. So then i got to get these guys over here. And now my drawing's complete and I can print it. And that's done. So, good luck, guys.